There's something extraordinary about an interconnected storyline depicted through a series of movies that captures the attention of movie lovers. It is not a secret that millions of people all over the world have come to appreciate trilogies for several reasons, but the concept of a three-part movie doesn't appeal to the audience if the first part is not interesting. There are very few trilogies that have been able to keep viewers hooked for decades through incredible acting, excellent execution, and timeless creativity. This video will reveal the top five of these trilogies that have ranked high on the list of trilogies for decades. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy It is nearly impossible to be on the surface of the Earth without ever hearing about the iconic Lord of the Rings Trilogy. It's been over two decades since the first part of the trilogy was released, and the trilogy is still recognized as one of the best for several reasons. From the storyline to the cinematography and everything in between, the Lord of the Rings trilogy captured the attention of millions of people across the world. The writer of the trilogy, Peter Jackson, really did a great job with the films which are now being enjoyed by several fans. The first part of the trilogy, which is called Fellowship of the Ring, took the world by storm. Although the film was three hours long, there was hardly a part that was not jaw-dropping. It was undoubtedly a phenomenal adventure film that told the story of a young hobbit and the difficult duties that fate brought his way. According to the storyline of the film, The Fate of the One Ring, which has been missing for millennia, will determine how society develops in the future. Strong forces are relentless in their pursuit of it. Frodo Baggins, Elijah Wood, a young hobbit who inherits the ring and enters mythology, is the recipient through fate. As the One Ring Bearer, Frodo will have the difficult duty of destroying the One Ring in the Mount Doom fires where it was created. The first part of the trilogy, which was released in 2001, surpassed the expectations of the viewers and set the tone for the next two films, which were released in 2002 and 2003. Interestingly, The Two Towers and The Return of the King turned out to be phenomenal as well. Over the years, the trilogy has continued to receive praise from people in different parts of the world. Unlike other trilogies which have received tons of negative reviews from movie critics, The Lord of the Rings received mostly positive reviews from critics. Interestingly, the trilogy became a resident at the Academy Awards for a while, receiving over 30 nominations and 17 wins. There is no denying that the Lord of the Rings trilogy is one of the most remarkable trilogies that has ever been created, the Dark Knight trilogy. Then why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Christopher Nolan did an exceptional thing with the Dark Knight trilogy. The British-American superhero film trilogy, which is based on the DC Comics character, Batman is the definition of extraordinary. The first film in the trilogy, Batman Begins, was launched in 2005. Although some people may have expected it to be a cliché superhero film with a familiar storyline, Christopher Nolan had no intentions of making the film mediocre. Through brilliant storytelling, the film captured the life story of Bruce Wayne from his childhood to his adult trauma as well as his training under the League of Shadows, and everything that led up to him becoming Gotham's most famous vigilante. The next film in the trilogy, The Dark Knight, which was released in 2008, turned out to be mind-blowing as well. The film doesn't capture a straightforward tale of good and evil. It is a complex and phenomenal representation of the complexities of modern terrorism and the escalations that occur when screen villains are involved. The final part of the trilogy, The Dark Knight Rises, which was released in 2012, was the perfect conclusion of the story. It tied the other two parts of the trilogy perfectly. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy is still considered one of the most outstanding trilogies of all time. From the legendary performances to the engaging storyline and exceptional, unforgettable scenes, the Dark Knight trilogy earned its spot as one of the greatest superhero series. It is safe to say Christopher Nolan transformed and redefined superhero culture through the Dark Knight trilogy. The original Star Wars trilogy. He told me you No. I am the father. 
Over the years, several creators have tried to create trilogies, but very few have been able to plan and execute a trilogy so perfectly. George Marcus is most definitely one of the few. It seems like he had the blueprint for what trilogies should be like because the original Star Wars trilogy turned out to be one of the greatest trilogies of all time. However, before the first part of the original trilogy was created, George Lucas had made only two movies called THX 1138 and American Graffiti. After his inability to adapt Flash Gordon, he embarked on a mission to create his own unique space adventure. In 1977, when the first part of the trilogy was released, there were very few movie creators who had conceived the idea of creating a space opera. The creator of the trilogy was not only able to come up with the idea, but he was also able to breathe life into his ideas. The original Star Wars trilogy started with the 1977 film A New Hope, which turned out to be a massive success. A New Hope exceeded the expectations of the viewers and became one of the most exceptional films released at the time. Most people who watched the film were in awe of how amazing it was. Because of how outstanding it was, A New Hope remained the highest grossing movie for over five years after its release. What started off as the creative imagination of George Lucas turned into a film that would entertain generations to come. The success of the first part of the trilogy paved the way for the two films that followed. The second part of the trilogy, The Empire Strikes Back, certainly didn't disappoint the fans as it depicted a richer and more dramatic follow-up to the first film. It was clear that the creators of the trilogy were determined to keep improving by constantly incorporating new strategies that will elevate the trilogy. In 1983, the release of The Return to Jedi was the conclusion that the trilogy needed. The surprising and jaw-dropping plot twist amazed the fans as they got to experience what was said to be a satisfactory conclusion. It's been decades since the final part of the original trilogy was released, and people can't stop talking about how iconic it was. The Godfather Trilogy. Shah's gonna give you what you want. He says there's no chance. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Over the years, the Godfather Trilogy has been said to be one of the best trilogies of all time for several reasons. The creator of the trilogy, Francis Ford Coppola, revolutionized the history of crime drama and changed Italian stereotypes in Hollywood films through The Godfather. The epic saga, which tells the story of the rise and fall of the Corleone family, has left fans in awe for decades. The heightened tale of the American Mafia altered the direction of the genre by drawing on Mario Puzo's book for inspiration and using it to explore issues of family ties, loyalty, cyclical violence, and human narcissism. The first part of the trilogy was undoubtedly one of the greatest movies released in the 1970s. However, just when fans of The Godfather thought they had seen it all, Francis Coppola created a sequel titled The Godfather II, which was just as interesting as the first. One thing that was clear at the time was the fact that the creators of the trilogy were determined to maintain the standard of The Godfather. Unfortunately, the third part of the trilogy was not as interesting as the first two films, but that didn't change the fact that the trilogy as a whole was mind-blowing. Decades later, the Godfather trilogy still remains one of the best. Back to the Future trilogy. Do you know what this means? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all! One of the most difficult concepts to portray in a film is time travel and very few movie creators were able to get it right in the 1980s. However, Robert Zemeckis' 1985 film Back to the Future made it look easy. It was as though the creators of the film changed the narrative about time travel movies and made a classic. From the first part of the trilogy to the last part in 1990, the trilogy was a perfect culmination of a phenomenal science fiction adventure and a romantic comedy. Several similar time travel movies have been created over the years, but none has come close to the Back to Future trilogy. Which of these trilogies do you love the most? Let us know in the comments section and check out some of our other videos.